For latest news update from Western Mass News. I'm Matt Satilli and here's your latest news update from Western Mass News. Community members gathered in Aguam to lay remembrance wreaths on the graves of fallen veterans. It took place at the Massachusetts Veterans Memorial Cemetery. Paul Barabani, the location coordinator for Wreaths Across America, tells Western Mass News when they started in 2011, they gave out just over 100 wreaths. Today, his officials say that number was more than 9,000. The first annual toys giveaway was held this evening at the Springfield Boys and Girls Club Family Center. The event was put on by Carla Neal Pierce, a former educator and program director for Atlanta Public Schools, who says she knows how important it is to give back to those in need. Thanks to the community support, 250 families will receive toys or gift certificates this holiday season. UMass basketball competed in downtown Springfield today in the Basketball Hall of Fame Classic. The Minutemen took the floor against North Texas in front of a big home crowd. Unfortunately, they came up short today and were outmatched by a stingy North Texas team. UMass shot only 24% from the floor and went 0 for 10 from 3. Final score, North Texas 62, UMass 44. Our first alert meteorologist on Maher. We'll hang on to a few clouds as we make our way through the late evening and into the overnight, but we are going to remain dry. Temperatures will drop into the lower and middle 20s overnight tonight. And as we wake up tomorrow morning, we're starting out with some sunshine, but we will see some clouds mix in throughout the day tomorrow. So we'll call it partly cloudy skies. Temperatures tomorrow top on out in the mid 30s. Bit of a breeze tomorrow. Northwesterly wind between around 5 and 15 miles per hour. And then we'll start to see these clouds give way to clearing as we head on into tomorrow night. Maybe a flurry tomorrow in northern Berkshire County. But for many of us tomorrow is going to be a dry day. In fact, we're dry for much of the upcoming week, right on through the middle part of next week, in fact. But then all eyes are on our next storm system for late Thursday into Friday. A lot of questions with this storm system right now, though, looks like it may start out as a wintry mix before going over to rain on Friday. Dry and cold for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.